Okay, folks. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday afternoon here. It's about 3 o'clock on Tuesday. And this afternoon we are going to compare uh, two of my favorite hand grinders. Okay, two of my favorite hand grinders here. So, hold on. Before we go live, I mean, we are live now, but you know, let's just make sure we have the right sound and video is okay. Yeah, I think the sound is good here. Anyway, if you're joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to daily live streaming. Obviously, we are live right now, so you cannot fast forward, all right? If, you're, if this is kind of like somehow boring to you, you just got to suck it up, okay? Just suck it up and watch it until some, you know, some parts are interesting. But uh, if not, if you are watching after the fact, all right, just fast forward, okay? Just fast forward. All right, hold on a second here. We have, uh, by the way, if you're joining us, uh, if you are in the live chat right now, if you have any questions or comments, let me know as well. You know, I have got my monitor set up here so I can see all your comments. We've got a few people watching right now. So we have a v, is that VK joining us from somewhere. We have a Mike. Hey, Mike, uh, yeah, go to bed, buddy. Go to bed. Okay, Mike is go to bed about, yeah. Yeah, just, just go to bed and get some rest, all right? You're not missing anything here, okay? We are missing anything, so also we have a Christian is joining us. VK from Spain. We got the Mr. Rainbow. Okay, Mr. Rainbow from Tel Aviv. Uh, Jonathan, you're pretty late over there too, goodness. All right, VK says about midnight, all right? Midnight there as well. Uh, Mike's, from, yeah. Mike's from Switzerland, goodness. Also, Tom, shout out to Tom. Tom is also joining us as well. We have a uh, Gat from Denmark. Yeah, we are, man, we are friends from all over the world, okay? All over the world. Uh, we are, uh, let's see here. Uh, we got Denmark. Man, it's 122 a.m. in Tel Aviv, okay? Anyway, so we have uh, Commandante. So I did compare, I did make some comparison a couple of months ago. But it's all different, okay? So every time I try this grinder, right? Whenever I try it, I do some comparisons, always kind of like give you a different flavor. So, I mean, that's why you cannot just do one and done, okay? You got to continuously, you know, compare and see, all right? Because I mean, if you watch videos, uh, review videos on online, the fact is, I don't know how, uh, it's depending on the, how many different types of coffee they are using, whoever doing the review, it's very challenging, okay? And that because you need to also define the brewer as well. Sometimes it really shines on cone-shaped paper versus the flat bottom paper. So it all depends, okay? All depends. All right, Justin also joining us as well. We got Justin, Kevin, we have a diamond from Hong Kong. Goodness, man. So I know some of you have both hand grinder. Hey, let me know uh, what do you guys, what do you think about it? Which one do you prefer? Okay. Uh, easy press. So it's been out for the last couple of years. And it's, the thing about the easy press versus Commandante. Commandante, they haven't changed. Okay. They haven't changed much over the years. They have their own style of birds inside. Okay. And very pricey. Right, it's about two hundred and seventy dollars if you go to eight ounce coffee. Okay, it's about. I mean, you can get from direct as well. You know, you can get from elsewhere, but uh, I think you can get from eight ounce in Canada somewhere. Okay, it's about two seventy. Not cheap. Okay, not cheap at all. And uh, GP six. Only place you can get is kind of like direct. Okay, you can get from direct from uh, Easy Presser, usually. Uh, uh, you don't have to pay any shipping or taxes on it. So usually free shipping and tax, so you only pay about 200 all right? $200, uh, $200 there. So 200 versus about 270 you have to pay tax on that, plus shipping, you are pushing over 300 for this one. All right, so uh, overall design, uh, this is a very clean look as well. 
uh, screw screw top. I mean, I, I actually I really enjoy the screw top. Okay, I have a K plus. Uh, you got magnetic on the bottom, but yeah, you know, for me it doesn't really matter. Okay, I think I prefer it's fine. Okay, I think Tom has K Ultra, uh, K Ultra and K Plus, pretty much the exact same birds, and the K Ultra has a little bit more setting, I believe. Uh, you can adjust a little more. That's what I, you know. That's what I heard, you know, because I have not used a K Plus yet. But yeah, uh, comes to pour over. Okay, here's the main difference between. Commandante and GP6. Commandante, you can actually, all right, uh, do espresso. Okay, you can get espresso as well, and they filter coffee just fine. GP6, you cannot do that. You are, this is kind of like one trick pony, that's it. Okay, only pour over, all right. But let's face it, how many times you guys actually use? Okay, hopefully we are back on. Hopefully we are back on, guys. Okay, hopefully we are back on. All right. Uh, hopefully we are back on, guys. Because we have some technical difficulty there. Hopefully we are back on. Hold on. Hopefully we have some technical difficulty. Let's see here. Okay, hopefully. That's it. Okay, only for over. Hopefully we are back on, guys. Okay, I think we are good here, guys. I think we are. Uh, I think we are good here, guys. Okay, uh, this is a great thing about live streaming. It all depends on the connections, all right? And some days we have a good live streaming and other days it's terrible. Okay, I think today is one of those days. But uh, we move on, okay? So if you are watching after the fact, just skip this section, okay? Just skip it, all right? And then uh, we are back. Okay, so now it's about 25 people watching right now. Okay, and we are back from uh, from that little uh, buffering, but I think we are all good here. Okay, so we have a diamond say, Damon say, uh, got a uh, directly from Thai, uh, Taiwan for around 130 dollars for GP6. That's a pretty good price. Okay, GP6 for 130 bucks. Goodness, I take that. All right, that's really good. Again, Commandante, uh, usually never go on sale. Okay, you, ha you have to just buy it, okay? You have to just buy it, unfortunately. So, okay, so let's brew some coffee, okay? Uh, yeah, if you have both, let me know. Uh, uh, what are your thoughts on it? And uh, Kevin say, uh, what no notch number? So, so I'm using, uh, right now, I'm going to be using V60. Uh, I set a number five, okay? I'm setting number five. Maybe like 5.5. Let's try 5.5. Okay. And the Commandante, I set uh, about 23 clicks on Commandante there. 23 clicks on Commandante, 5.5 uh, clicks on uh, easy, uh, GP6. I'm going to be using my oh, uh, V60 this afternoon, just classic V60. And then let's uh, grind some coffee. I'm going to time this. So I'm going to do a 13 gram dose. Okay, let's find out how long it's going to take to grind 13 gram. Okay. Here you go, ready? I'm going to start my timer. Okay, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Okay. Uh, we have a Dominico. Jeep, uh, JX Pro for the travel setup, 070S, uh, 070A for the home, that's nice, that's very cool. Did you got it already, Dominico? Did you get it? About 30 seconds, okay. about 30 seconds to grind it, okay. Yeah, because, I mean, if you got it, let me know, okay, yeah. All right, so let's move on to, come on, so 30 seconds for the uh, GP6. Let's figure out how long it's gonna take. Okay. Here we go, hold on. 
Dominico say getting what? Thursday morning? Nice. Very cool. Yeah, because I heard that they have some issues with supply chain. So if you are getting on Thursday morning, that's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, because I heard some great things about 078. About uh, about the same time, about 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah, slightly maybe 31. Slightly, yeah, a couple seconds longer, but it's not a big deal. Okay. Again, if you imagine if you are doing espresso, okay, it takes a couple minutes. It's not fun. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of you know doing hand grinder for the espresso there. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have a we have an atomic roast uh, rooster. Say, yeah, king uh, king grinder. That's fine too. Just under hundred bucks. Yep. I mean, if you spend anything over like 50, 60 bucks. You're going to get pretty decent grinders, right? <clears throat> okay, here we go. Let's brew some coffee here. Hold on a second here. So I got uh, two brewers, uh, identical. We are using V60. Okay. Right, here we go. Terror. I'm just going to use my boiling temperature water for that. What else do we need? Okay, here we go. So let's use that as a Commandante and GP60. You know, let's flip the camera. Okay. Let's flip the camera here, folks. Oh, I should be good. I'm really looking forward to this session because uh, everybody loves Commandante. If whatever you watch, like, you know, pour over videos, a lot of people reference Commandante as, you know, grind the reference. They tell you, you know, 20 clicks or, you know, whatever. What, whatever clicks on the Commandante. I'm going to be using 13 gram. Uh, pretty much no retention. Yeah. Very low. Yeah, there's no retention on Commandante. Let's see with GP6. Yep, none either. I pre-watched the paper about uh, 10 minutes before, so it definitely you're not going to smell any paper smell, for sure. Uh, it's going to be a very simple brewing method. It's very extremely simple. I'm just going to start, start with about 40 grams of water, okay? And then I'm going to boil them about a minute or so. There you go. I'm going to start with the 40 gram. I'm just going to stir it pretty heavily. And then I'm going to wait about a minute, okay? Same as uh, this one as well. About 40 gram. I'm just going to, okay, shake it up. Wait about a minute. Uh, maybe we'll go a minute and a half. Okay. We are at the what about a minute mark there. Kind of a long blooming process. Yeah, let's wait about a minute. Okay, just a minute. And then I'm going to go all the way to 200. Very, very simple. Okay. That's it. 
Right, the exact same thing as well. Long bloom, about a minute or so. Give it a quick stir. Okay, give it a quick stir as well. And just wait. Very simple recipe. For the comparison, you know, you want to be simple in a recipe that you can duplicate easily. We're at 221 right now. I think we are, I'm fine with 230. If anything under like three minutes, I'm, I'm fine with it. I think I'm pretty happy with it. between like 2.30 and like three and a half minutes. So we are at uh, about three minute mark there, as you can see. Yeah, so this, I, I think this is considered as a decent brew. We wait, uh, it's, it's about three minutes. Let's uh, call it at 3.06. 250. So we are very close. Okay. Very close there. So this coffee made from uh, Commandante. This is a GP6. Okay. Last thing you want to do is I'm just going to shake a little bit. All right. Do the same, GP6. Let's give it a try, okay. Let's give it a try there. Okay, if you're joining us for the first time, yeah, I mean, so who's first time watching live streaming? Let me know. Okay, who's first timer? All right. Yeah, because not actually not a lot of people watch you know our live streaming. So live streaming is kind of like pre. Uh, I don't want to say you know, it's not that popular. Let's put it that way. My shorts are really popular though. Okay, pe uh, people love to watch my shorts. Okay, people love to watch shorts, but. Hold on, uh, Damon say 4.5 with the GP. Yeah, uh, let's see, alternate, a new thing. 4.5, hold on. Yeah, I, I used a 4.0, no, 5.5 on this one today, okay. So, it all depends on the grinder. Even though you have the exact same GP6, it's different. Okay, shout out to Mr. Rainbow, my number one fan, for the super sticker. Okay, here we go, cheers. Yeah, it smells pretty good. Okay, very fruity. Should I should I try the you know what? Let's try the commandante first. Yeah. Let's try the commandante. Okay. Hmm. Here we go. Cheers. Okay. Bright. Citrus. Okay, so with the Commandante, I use the 23 clicks. Okay, 23 clicks with the V60. Uh, GP6, 5.5. Uh, okay, we're using the V60 there. Exact same brew, same water, uh, identical brewing method. Okay, so let's try uh, GP6. Man, hold on a second. Let's go back to Commandante. Mm. 
you know what? Here's kind of like consensus, okay? Here's kind of consensus between GP6. GP6 is, just think of it as uh, cleaner coffee, okay? Cleaner coffee and less body, less texture. With the Commandante or even a K Plus, even a K, a K Plus, K Max, K Ultra is about the same as well. Uh, give you more, uh, they bring up more the body, okay? But, but is that difference enough to buy another grinder? All right, I mean, so, so that's the big thing. Let's say if you have Commandante right now, okay, you're loving it. Or if you have a K Plus, you're loving it. And then is that worth investing $200 for your just the filter coffee? Fact is you already have Commandante at home. Hold on, so let's try one more time here. So, so I can tell you, okay, I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on it, okay. Here we go, let's see. Okay, bright, has nice mouth feels to it. Okay, all right, so let's go back to uh, GP6 one more time. I mean, that's pretty much, you know, everybody wants to know, right? I mean, is that, you know, is, what's the difference between GP6 and Commandante, okay? We're not talking about better. Uh, GP6 is better built, okay, overall, okay? Better built, I mean, just more refined, okay? I mean, GP6 is not as nice as the K+. Plus. K+, plus is even better than this, okay? I mean, K+, plus is even more solid, all right? So... Comes to build quality, you know, I go GP6 all day. Okay, here we go, cheers. Yeah, it's, you know, it's lighter, brighter, uh, less body to it. But again, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, if I'm gonna serve you both coffee, you guys are going to, uh, you know, enjoy both of them. It's, it's not a game changer, all right? Yeah. It's not a huge game changer. But if, you, if you're gonna get one, right? If you're gonna get one. And because uh, how many of you are actually thinking about getting high-end grinders? Okay, yeah, let me know on the live chat as well. All right, yeah. yeah uh, let me know on the live chat. Okay, so how many of you are actually looking for a high-end hand grinder? Love to hear from you because if you're gonna get just one, right? If you're just gonna get one, you have to ask yourself, how many times I'm, I'm going to use espresso and filter coffee, all right? Filter coffee and espresso. If the answer is yes, okay, which means I feel like automatically GP6 is out, okay? Because you, GP6, you cannot do, okay? You cannot do espresso, only filter, okay? Only pro, uh, filter coffee, that's it. So if you are thinking about doing espresso, GP6 is not the grinder. But if you're planning on doing espresso, no, uh, just a filter only, right? Comes to price-wise, hold, hold on, let me grab that. So here's a K Plus, okay? Fantastic grinder automatic as well, you know, magnetic, uh, comes with a blind shaker too, okay? So this one gives you a lot of stuff, okay? Okay, but, uh, so this is a very, kind of multi-purpose, okay? Espresso and filter, okay? So do Commandante as well. So if you're, if you're doing just the filter coffee only, but if you're looking for high-end, right? If you, you are doing the high end, sure, GP6 is fine. Okay, I mean, it comes to filter coffee, this is kind of like uh, good as good. I think I feel like this is the on the top. Okay, top of my list comes to just a simple pour over hand grinder. Okay, two hundred bucks. All right, but but there is a, a uh, goodness another grinder, a JX Pro, right? JX Pro. I heard the JX Pro is as good as this one. I'm gonna put the 
link down below from Amazon there as well. Yeah, you cannot buy from Amazon. I wish you can get it from Amazon for GP6. If you get it from Amazon, you can always return it, right, if you don't like it. But uh, J, JX Pro, they have it. So I heard that JX Pro is so, somewhat close to GP6. It's about $50 cheaper as well. So again, and also I heard that uh, Q2, uh, Easy Press or Q2, uh, it's about 75 bucks. They're pretty decent grinder as well. But I mean, if you want the, the top of the line, uh, filter coffee and filter hand grinder, I think this is it. Yeah, let me know. Okay, let me know what your thoughts on that. All right, let me know what your thoughts on that. Uh, Hungry Penguin has the Kinu M47 and Easy Pro. Yeah, I mean, M47 should be good for espresso, right? GP6 for the, yeah, for the filter. So now you have both. But man, doing hand grinder for your espresso is pain in the butt. Uh, Aaron say, can you do turbo shot with the GP6? Uh, I'm not sure. I have not done yet. But I don't want to try either, right? I, I do not want to try because it takes too long, okay? I mean, goodness, who wants to spend three minutes on grinding coffee? Yeah. Hold on a second. We have a... Uh, hungry penguin say looking for flat bird. You, you, you can get a flat bird. All right, you can get a flat bird for the hand grinder. Come on, but I think a Pietro does. It's called Pietro or Pietro. Yeah, uh, is that 58 millimeter flat bird or 48 millimeter? Yeah, crazy. Uh, the JX Pro. Uh, JS, yeah, here we go. Jesse say a J, uh, JX Pro is uh, it's not a huge. Not a big fan? Definitely recommend for KR Shroud. Well, yeah. Uh, Jesse has a very expensive taste. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. And I do not keep up with uh, Jesse. <coughs> uh, 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 Jesse has all the nice stuff. So. Okay. Hold on a second here. Uh, Hunty say niche for espresso. Yep. K plus for the what? GP6 for the filter. Yeah. That's good match. That's pretty good. Yeah. 078, oh, there we go. Hungry Penguin is pretty nice setup there. 078S with Meticulous. Hopefully, okay, hopefully a Meticulous come out soon. Okay, hopefully come out soon there. Okay, hold on a second here. Uh, JCC found the budget, GP6 for the filter. Okay, that's good. Can go wrong with that. And the Bratza ESP for Espresso. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, again, Bracha ESP or even fellow Opus is about $200 range. This is 200 bucks. The electric grinder is 200, hand grinder is for 200. So, yeah. Let's see here. We have a shout out to Christian. First time watching. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That helps me sleep. You know, I think a lot of people uh, prime my video for kind of like the background noise. Okay. Kind of like white noise there. Okay, hold on a second here. Uh, so I must say, Hun, what does you, what does make you to be reluctant to using shifter including? It's not reluctant. That's too much work. Okay, too much work. Uh, shimmy is great, but uh, if I'm competing, I definitely use a shimmy. Okay, but uh, if you are just making coffee daily, come on. Okay, uh, so. Hold on a second. Well, uh, what's Greg say? Yeah, Greg is uh, strongly opinionated. Opinionated. What, what, what Greg is talking about? Okay, okay. Greg says C40 whips the JX like a, a rent, rented mule. Okay. Yeah, Greg definitely have. Uh, Greg's definitely fanboy for C40 there. The first thing about the uh, C40, Commandante. There's a huge community, okay? There's a huge community of uh, coffee lovers out there. Loves Commandante, okay? Here's the reason why I bought Commandante, because all my friend has one, okay? All my friend has Commandante. That's the reason I got it, okay? Not because this is amazing hand grinder, because this is great grinder, okay? I, I don't want to say amazing, but this is good grinder, okay? But this is a... Uh, pre cool grinder as well. And then again, like I say, whatever you watch, like uh, 
uh, pour over videos, especially if you go to Onyx. Onyx has a Buru Guide, okay, Buru Guide. And they, they talk about recipes a lot. I think Gene is right, okay. Gene said easy to share recipes because they are worldwide, all right. Okay, so this is a worldwide, everybody, you know, if you are coffee lovers, if you are a hipster, all right, if you are a hipster comes to coffee, most likely you have common down there. You know, this is $300 hand grinder. Who, who does that? Okay. I know you guys do. Okay. But with uh, Easy Presser, this is new kit on the block, in a way. Okay. And comes to filter, I know everybody buying more and more. So, so this one, you know, you can talk about the grinder setting, but it's not as popular. Easy Presser, like K Plus. K Pro, K Max, I mean, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, it's, yeah, it's hard to share the recipe. And that's why whenever I share a recipe, I say, you know, whatever clicks you have, but the best way to share a recipe, talk about the brew time, right? Okay. You tell them uh, how many grams of those you're going to use, let's say 13 or 15 gram, and then you're trying to shoot for, you know, talk about the different uh, techniques. Technique is also important too. Okay, have a right technique. And after that, and how long is it going to take? You know, two, two minutes, three minutes, two and a half minutes. You know, so, you know, I mean, that's the thing. So you talk about the, you tell your friends, hey, just, just make sure the time should be around, you know, two and a half minutes, three minutes, or something like that. So in that case, you don't have to talk about the grind size. Because obviously, the finer the grind size takes longer to brew. Cursor is the opposite. Yeah. Uh, Greg said, "Easy press or bla yeah, it's fast. It's faster. The reason why they're fast, okay, just simple geometric, has longer arms. That's it. Okay, that's the reason why they're fast. Longer arms. You could buy extender arm for this. Okay, there is a." a Cost you about 50 bucks. You can get a longer arm, but the fact is you're already spending 300 bucks. I don't want to spend another $50 on a handle. Okay. Yeah. And then there is a, another, okay. Uh, you could buy, it's called red clicks. Okay. You can buy red click. So right now this one has uh, you can cut that in half. So whatever clicks you have, you can go to this um, uh, this mod you can buy from Commandante. So you can go one. So this one goes to let's say one two. This mod goes to one and uh, one point five point five. So yeah. So that's how it works. So that I don't know how much for that one. It's not cheap. That it's not cheap either. Set you back what? 50, 60, 70 bucks I think. Yeah. Okay, hold on a second. Here. Christian say, I'm done with the, uh, do the GP6, Ultra, and JX Pro. I don't want to have more. Ch yeah, you know, that's the thing. Okay. We have too many choices right now. All right. That's the problem. But what, I mean, the nice thing about that, if you have no choice, right? If you, let's say if you only have a one grinder, okay, guess what? You're going to spend a lot of time into it You're trying to figure out the best way to brew that grinder. Okay, uh, Greg said that red clicks about fifty dollars for red clicks. So, so coffee's been cooled down for a while. So let's try one more time. So this is the Commandante. Here we go. Has nice body to it, texture. So this is a GP6. Lighter, brighter, but again, it's. it's it's hard to, you know, it's hard to tell. Okay, once your coffee is cool, yeah. I mean, they're both good, clean. There's no bitterness. Yeah, they're, they're good, clean coffee. Okay, can't go wrong with it. Okay, can't go wrong with any of grinder if you're playing on buying. Oh, hold on a second here. Okay, so Greg said, yeah, the Mark 3C40, yep. And the, so this is the, so this is the Mark 4. Okay, I, I got this one last year, so. 
So this is Mark IV, and there is a, another grinder just came out uh, from Commandante. I forgot the name of it. Uh, has a camera flash. Okay. That's great for outdoor, uh, very light. Yeah. Okay. Hold on a second. Greg said, I think yeah, easy press yeah, yeah, smaller clicks, unless if you start with, uh, you know, red clicks. But I mean, that's pushed that price even more higher. Eduardo asking, do you feel the separation of a note is better than GP6? No, GP6 is cleaner. Okay, so you can, I feel like in, uh, yeah, Trail Master, that's the one. Uh, so this one is the Ethiopia, the uh, sun-dried natural processed coffee. Uh, blueberry, blueberry pie, orange, and hold on, uh, milk chocolate. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Blueberry, I can definitely taste the blueberry. Definitely orange, okay, highlight the orange for sure. With the Commandante here, orange and our milk chocolate, all right? Orange and milk chocolate. So, let's see here, Pengu says six, what's C60? I don't know what 660 is, is that C40? Yeah, let's see here. Uh, Hungry Penguins say, from the review, reviews, you get pre pretty close with the uh, Easy Presser to a C, I don't know what that is, what's C4P? Okay. Okay. 600 for what? Is a Commandant has a C60? Uh, we got to fact check that. Hold on a second. Yeah, hold on. We are Damien say 4.5 to 5 for GP6 for Amy again. So you, you can, uh, so you can uh, get a finer setting to uh, bring out that flavor. Okay, so it's all depend on what you're looking for. So even with the exact same grinder, depend on the grind size. But so sometimes here's the thing about the whenever you go finer, you are going to increase the body to it. And the, but you're going to sacrifice the the, the sweet uh, sweetness in the coffee as well, so uh, it all depends. Okay, it all depends on what you are looking for. Hold on a second. Someone say Commandante C60. I'm typing right now. What? You see, 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 sixty. Goodness. Man, I didn't see that coming. Okay. Let's go Barracuda. All right. Yeah. Hold on. Let me show you guys. Okay. Let me show you. Let me show you what I'm seeing. So this is the new Commandante C60. Let's go Barracuda. Uh, the showcase on the SCA a couple of months ago, the Portland one. But yeah, but there's no whole lot of marketing on that either. Okay. About time though, because they haven't done much over the years. Yeah, lo looks pretty good. Yeah, looks pretty good there. Yeah, and the Commandante X25 for the Trail Master as well. So yes, they got some couple of options, but what is the price on that? I'm very curious for the price. Yeah, yeah. So Barracuda is a C60, uh, they are saying, but I'm not quite sure what's the price on it. Uh, someone say $600. Uh, Greg say 600 is what I hear. $600 for hand grinder. Man, they are, uh, they are pushing the envelopes, envelopes, guys. I mean, that is uh, really pricey. Because, let's put that in perspective. Uh, you can go, you can buy a DF64, the V, the available speed, uh, around, uh, around 600. You can get a niche grinder for around 600. Okay, niche, zero. 600 all right uh, you, can, you can get a timer 
078. Just a great filter uh, grinder as well. 550, 560. Okay, so under 600. So, but I, I bet you, okay, I guarantee you, it's going to be sold out. Okay, pretty quick. Okay. People love spy. I mean, if you're a Commandante fanboy, yeah, you're going to get it. Okay. You, just like buying an Apple product. Okay. Just like buying Apple products. So, and I was watching the fellow, uh, fellow just did a, a collaboration with the Big Face. You know, if you don't know what Big Face uh, brand, uh, the brand is, uh, that's uh, Jimmy Butler, that's the famous basketball player. He loves coffee. And uh, he has a company called Big Face. So, you got fellow and Big Face come up with their uh, pour over kit. Okay. Comes with a uh, fellow ke tally kettle, no, no, tally scale, okay. Uh, EKG stack, uh, the st uh, Pro Studio. So we got the kettle, uh, scale, uh, let's see, a stack axe brewer, a couple of cups. What else? Uh, and then fellow opus. Is it, yeah, fellow opus. Is a hand grinder that comes with it? Not the uh, grinder, but I, yeah, I think it comes with the grinder too. Yeah. And then, uh, hold on. Ma maybe I can pull it up right now. Let's see here. Fellow. Here we go. Yeah, no, yeah, fellow. Oh, Gen 2. Here we go, guys. Here's the big face. The, so comes the mug. Kettle, fellow Ojan two cup of cups and scale and so that one has a you know obviously big face logo on it and you can get a you can get a trapper kit okay comes with a carrying case as well so there comes the carrying case with the trapper kit guess how much okay guess how much for their they're two thousand dollars for the carrying case. Comes with all that gadgets, two grand. Okay, so again, people uh, people are going to spend. All right, people is going to spend. You know, their gadgets. So, Aina, uh, Aina uh, is a uh, Greg say six hundred bucks is too much. It is, but it isn't. I guarantee you, it's gonna be sold out quick. Okay, it's gonna be sold out quick. Dominico said you can buy the F83. Yeah, the F83 for 600 bucks right now. Okay. Yeah. Because people are looking for their brand name, you know. <clears throat> yeah. You know, brand name. So, Hungry Pango said Zorona is very intriguing. Yeah, it's about 1500 bucks, right? Zorona is about 15, 1600 bucks. So, if you have 15 or 600 bucks, Man, you have a lot of options. So not I mean, if you are willing to spend between or around two grand, fifteen to two thousand, make sure to do your research. Okay, make sure to do your research. All right, because uh, because you're only going to spend one time. All right, and that kind of high end grinder. So make sure to give uh, give a lot of thoughts on it. Just so you know, don't uh, don't get influenced by the all the influencers out there okay just make sure to do your research and make that decision okay make that decision there uh let's see here uh, eduardo say uh what about the new flat burn uh, that's the pietro pietro or pietro uh i don't know much about it i know i know some people got uh, did some reviews on it but yeah gene say how much was the ek again again we are comparing apple to orange, okay, Jin. Because I have this grinder because, you know, I have a small YouTube channel, okay. All right. Uh, that's it, okay. I mean, if I if I don't have my YouTube channel, no. I mean, you're not gonna see me with the EK43. All right. Uh, Greg say, yeah, don't know about Jimmy Butler. Yeah, I mean, he's famous guy. Yeah, he's a very famous basketball player. He's awesome. 
Okay, hold on. Hungry penguin. Uh, hungry penguin spent 68 months. Yeah, good. Hungry penguin says uh, spent almost a year researching before I got the hang grinder. Oh, goodness. Uh, back then, right? I don't know when you purchased your hang grinder, but you only have a couple options back then. Okay, but now, forget it. Even Easy Presso has, uh, I don't know how many grinders they have. I lost count from Easy Presso. Yeah, so now we've got Easy Presso Mix 1, Timer Mix 1. Obviously, we have a, a Commandante, Kinu, even Optional Mix uh, Hand Grinder as well. A lot. And even Weber makes the, one of those key hand grinder. They're manual hand grinder. They're pretty fantastic. So you, you have a lot of options, guys. You have a lot of options. So make sure to do your research. All right? Make sure to do your research. Oh, yes, Gnome Core. Let's not forget the Gnome Core, okay? Uh, I have a Gnome Core grinder over there as well. Yeah, don't forget. Good story. That's right, good story too. Justin said, I want a new grinder, but I do not want to spend thousand dollars yeah thousand bucks okay so thousand bucks you have a good range of grinders you can choose from okay make sure to check out the df all right the df is uh, has a pretty good lineup there we have a timer we've got the 078 okay 78 or uh, 78s most likely you know the espresso maybe 78s what else you go on the range there i you know uh let's see here Option O for their Lago Mini, yeah, I'm not quite sure about that, okay. Because of longevity, all right, but what else is out? I think pretty much it, well, Niche Zero, okay, Niche Zero. And the uh, uh, Niche eight, uh, Duo as well, okay, I think they're under 1,000. Yeah, so now you, you got some options, options, okay. The Petro is the Fine, just awkward to use. Okay. I mean, they're 58 millimeter flat bird. All right, on hand grinder. Okay. Yeah. Mark asks, is Varia reliable? I'm not quite sure. Varia is a brand new company, just came out. So, uh, time to tell. Okay. We, 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 we just have to wait. All right. Uh, Justin said, the niche duo was what I was thinking. Uh, check out my old, uh, check out my niche duo videos if you have time, and then just see for yourself. Okay, uh, I made some a lot of comparison, so yeah, make sure to check it out. Hold on a second here. Uh, Jesse say, oh, uh, Jesse, are you curious about the Petro? I'm trying to get one right now, so we'll see. Okay, I'm trying to get one. Uh, if, if I'm gonna get the Petro. I'm going to get the filter focus. They have a picture comes with two bird sets, okay? One for espresso and one for uh, filter. So, I mean, I want the filter focus one. All right. Uh, Turin, yep. Uh, Eduardo, I got the uh, Encore C2 K4, okay. Okay, specialty coffee. Is the, the specialty coffee has been. Okay, even though it's blowing up, it's only a fraction. Okay, fraction of the people. All right, the fraction of people into specialty coffee. Ninety-nine percent. There, people like the you know medium to dark roast, kind of like chocolate notes. Uh, uh, great for mixed base drink. I think that's the most people into it. Even though it's blowing up, but it's not not really. Okay. Arvin said Mazur hang run. Yeah, Mazur has a. Man, I saw Mazur has this hand grinder comes with, I think, a huge, man, this is like 80 millimeter. Is that 80 or 83 hand grinder there, millimeter hand grinder? Yeah. Okay, Hungry Fang, I thought getting a Flare 58, but Meticulous just better for in the kitchen. I mean, the Meticulous, I don't know if you don't know what, uh, that is a wonderful product, but it's not realized yet, okay? They are still in the prototype process, all right? I mean, that's the reason why you guys are taking a risk, right? I mean, that's the a reason why, you know, you guys got a great price on it. So, I mean, they are good. You can control every aspect of the shot, okay? So they are really good. 
Yeah, but who knows? Okay, who knows? All right. Christian talking about the uh, uh, C60 there. Uh, Jesse say uh, Flare 50A. I mean, Flare 50A is a legit espresso, you know, manual machine. Okay, they are pretty good, I have to say. Uh, SK say they are already in pre-production. That's great. Okay, hopefully they're gonna come out soon. It'd be, it'd be awesome. All right. Uh, 1500 bucks. Yeah, if everything's said and done. I mean, that's why you know a lot of people got that. The, the Kickstarter price, uh, price, 12 to 1500 bucks. Uh, I bet you they go live. I bet you they are, I bet you pushing two grand for sure. Yeah. Jin say meticulous finish V10 about a week ago. V10 is version 10. All right. Yeah. Two grand. Two grand without the mixed steamer. Hmm. It'd be interesting, okay. Because if you are pushing two grand, think of think of meticulous as a between decent espresso machine and flare. All right, so give you a lot of control. Man, goodness. And uh, Greg say, Greg is smiling right now. When the conversation turned into espresso, it's like a whole different. You know what? Uh, coffee is coffee. Okay, pour over. Espresso, you know, I mean, that's uh, different types of coffee, but, you know, we, we are still making coffee, okay? All right. Uh, so this, uh, this afternoon we are making, actually, I was making the Ethiopia. So this is an interesting process, sun-dry natural process, okay? From our local roaster here at Presta. Blueberry pie, orange and milk chocolate, okay? Let's not forget the Maxwell House. They're classic, right? Maxwell is pretty classic coffee. Okay, can go wrong. Can go wrong with that. You know, have some uh, creamer, sh lots of sugar, and Maxwell. Yeah, you're gonna have a good time. Okay, that, let's. Uh, the coffee's been really cool. Okay, hold on. Let, let's go back to the GP6. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so coffee's been cooled down completely. Okay. Commandante. A little more sweeter, right? Now. Than GP6. Yeah. Here's the thing. I mean, who drinks cold coffee, right? I bet you it's going to be really great for iced coffee for Commandante, I think. Okay. I think Commandante is pretty good for uh, iced coffee. Hold on a second here. We have uh, Greg is drinking some fancy stuff there. Letty Bermudez. Okay. Um, I tried that last time a uh, couple of months ago. Yeah, that's good coffee. Okay. I must say, Huan, why don't you turn on Bianca? Bianca is ready to go. Okay. I've been brewing with the Bianca all day. All right. Yeah. Okay, hold on a second here. All right, uh, let's see here. We have uh, uh, the Greg say, uh, I never get the name drop. I mean, again, so Greg is enjoying some really fancy stuff right there. I mean, that is uh, another level of coffee. Okay. Let's see here. <clears throat> if a boiler considering. Why your base? I don't want you to know. Okay. Hold on a second here. I must say, hold on. Uh, it's consuming electric, produce a heat in the room. Uh, you know what? It's not bad right now. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. It's fine. Because it's not using a lot of heat, you know, a lot of power for that. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, it's on all day because I got friends in and out all day long. So, yeah. We make coffee all day long. Okay, I think we're, are we good? It's about 56 people watching right now. That's good, guys. Okay. Uh, my goal is about 100. Okay, I, I, I mean, I, I love to see double the number. You know, I get there someday. You know, I'm not in rush. All right. 
I'm not in a rush. All right, I think, uh, are we good today? Hold on, uh, I saw a review for Cafe Sing. What is Cafe Sing? What is that? Is that, is that another grinder? Hold on. Hold on. Eduardo say Cafe Sing, is that grinder? It is grinder. That's hand grinder from Amazon. Okay. Oh my goodness, two hundred and nineteen dollars. Oh wow! Hold on a second. Here, let me show you guys. It's called Cafe Sing. Okay, I hope I'm saying it right. Orca handle coffee grinder with espresso flat burr. <clears throat> 46 gram, interesting, that look like ghost bird, isn't it? That look like ghost bird there. Look like two birds inside. Yeah, 219 bucks. Here's a, look at the review though, okay, 3.5 star. Yeah, you know what, I mean, you guys, you guys are willing to spend $200 on 3.5 star products? Yeah, let me know. Okay, let me know, uh, what is your thoughts on it, okay? You guys are going to spend 3.5 star on $200 grinder. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Hold on a second here. And the Jesse said, nah, don't listen to the review. All right. Okay, hold on. I, I, again, I mean, that's all we can go by. Okay, Jesse. That's all we know, right? Okay, that's all we know. So, you know what? Uh, let me reach out to them, okay? Let me reach out to them. Maybe I can get a demo unit. So let's find out, okay? Let's find out. Yeah, you should be fine. Yeah. All right, so, let's, so let's find out there. All right. Man, we've been, we've been chatting for last hour here. Uh, if you're just joining us, Hold on, Jesse said, it's a legit, Jesse promise, uh, Cafe Sing is a legit hand grinder. Yeah, yeah, le yeah let's find out, Jesse. Uh, let me reach out to that company, all right? I think I did it once before. I think that ghosted me for some reason. Yeah, but let me try again, okay? Let me try again. So hopefully they're gonna send me a sample unit. Okay, so Greg say I've uh, seen videos of people in the room who do, who do nothing but write reviews all day. I mean, it's all depend on the. Uh, I mean, if you see the review, you know. You know those reviews writing by the someone knows what they're doing or someone just write something right. Yeah. Tell them Aaron sent you. Yeah, who's Aaron? So he says, someone say, oh, Aaron did a review on it, right? Hold on. Hold on a second here. So let me, so this is the great thing about the live chat, right? You know, we can actually play with it. You know, we can find out. Hold on. Hold on here. Let me go to YouTube. And the left, uh, let's find the video. Uh, that give you a different bird options. Hold on. Hold on, who's it? Uh, here we go. Oh, you mean Aaron. Yeah, that's my buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Aaron from Phoenix. Oh, yeah. Hold on, let's see what... Well, um, area than most of yeah, Aaron makes great video. By hand, not using yeah. a handle and a squeak spurs and not okay. with the other birds. Now, okay, I'm watching and, it. Um, I've had since we did a filter brew with this coffee. Okay, here we go. Well, it's quirky and it's got some weird things, and there's some bugs to maybe be working about this grinder. Okay, I'm watching Those Aaron's video. Absolutely fantastic again, especially for immersion brewing. They are medium or darker roasted stuff. 
but I can only imagine it probably does very well. Okay. I would really appreciate it if you would give the channel a subscribe. Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to subscribe if you like what I'm going to do so, and see if I can buy them. They want like all my other videos. They're not, you know, paying me for any. Of Hold on. Here we are. Even though they sent me this grinder for free to check so out. Aaron got that grind video and just like. So Aaron got that grinder for free. Okay. All right. Yeah. Goodness. That that's great. Yeah. To, to, uh, is a is a coffin or Aaron? Yeah. That, uh, that's the uh, Aaron's video. Good. So they did send it to them. Uh, send it to Aaron. So yeah. So let me retry. Maybe I got lucky. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. But here's the thing, I mean, Aaron makes awesome videos, okay? That's what he does for a living, all right? I mean, if, if, if I was a manufacturer, okay, I send uh, free stuff to Aaron than me, for sure, all right? Uh, definitely for sure, because yeah, he makes beautiful video. So, yeah. But, you know, yeah, so uh, let me reach out to that company, okay? And uh, hopefully they're going to send me a sample unit. And then we are going to compare heck out of it, okay? Because I mean that's what I want. That's what I want to know, okay? Because I mean that's the thing about the. I and mean, that's all I want to know. Because if grinder by yourself is every single grinders are fantastic, okay? Every single grinders are fantastic. All right. But if I'm going to start comparing, right? GP6 versus K plus, there's difference. I guarantee you, someone out there, you prefer GP6 over K plus all day long. You don't know that until some, uh, you have to compare it. Okay. Hopefully, if your friend or someone has uh, both grinders or one or the other, so you can compare it. And then, you know what? I think I'm going to go with this or that. But here's uh, another, another kicker. Okay. Depend on the coffee. Okay. Depend on the coffee. Some coffee is better. For GP6, some coffee is not. Okay. Maybe better better on K plus. Maybe better on Commandante. Okay. So how can you decide? Okay. How, how can you decide that? So I mean that is the that is the killer. All right. That is the killer. Because we are talking about uh, a couple hundred dollars for a grinder. Uh, a cafe thing is what? 220 bucks. It's not cheap grinder, guys. Okay. But luckily, all right, luckily uh, it's selling uh, through Amazon. Okay. All right. So if you guys are willing to try before me, okay, do it. Okay. Because you can, uh, they have a 30 day return policy there. So yeah, uh, make sure. Yeah. Uh, ben asked me, uh, Petro, uh, I don't have a Petro yet. Okay. I need to get one first. Yeah, I know uh, Justin from Daddy Got Coffee. I know he got one. He has what? I saw he's making a lot of videos with that. So yeah. Hold on a second here. The Edward say, but you have the your wall of geekness behind me. Yeah, okay, that that is true. That's kind of like my. Yeah. So again, I do have a lot of options. I mean, that, I mean, that's the reason why I really like to compare things here in this channel. Uh, uh, yep, the M47 from Kino is or, yeah, better than my GP6. Exactly. Some coffee is uh, better with uh, some, uh, one particular grind than the others. It all depends on the coffee. I mean, that's why it is, uh, it is tough. Okay? It is tough to pick just one grinder. That's another reason. Whenever you watch review for what that grinder, just the grinder, they're all good. Okay, there's no bad grinders there. But now we have a GP6 at coming in at 200. K plus around like 250 or so. Okay. And then we have a Cafe Sing uh, 219. Okay, if you pay tax on that, you are pushing 230, 240. Commandante pushing around $300 range there. Goodness. Just a grinder. So just make sure uh, pick out the grinder wi uh, wisely. And that's another reason, you know, I like to get it from Amazon if you can. 
you know, there's no fuss comes to returning it. So yeah. Uh, is how many of you actually have that grinder cafe sink? Yeah, let me know if you have it. And if you do, let me know what your thoughts on it. Okay, guys, it's already 4:30 here. I hope you guys are having a great night. It's about 4:30 p.m. here. I know some of you are all in the morning as well. Okay. I bet you. Yeah. I bet you, Mike. Yeah, my, Mike's not here, which means Mike's is, uh, he's in bed by now. Okay, a lot of people. I know. Shout out to Mr. Rainbow. It's about 2 a.m. Yeah, I bet it's 2 a.m. Uh, what? Is it 2.30 a.m. maybe? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, you better go to sleep, buddy. You better go to sleep. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, evening, or afternoon, okay? And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Uh, we're going to figure something out tomorrow. All right, hey, Greg. Uh, no, uh, you, you are doing just you are doing just fine. Okay. Uh, we love to hear your thoughts on it. All right, guys. Have a good night.